In today's health alert, as the cooler weather settles in, many people are experiencing those cold-like symptoms, whether it's COVID-19, the flu, RSV, people are wondering when they can safely interact with others. And here, enter in our Chief, Media, <laughs> Chief Health Editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. And Dr. Nandy, how do we know when the time is right to return after being sick? And Glenn, a lot of people ask yeah. me this, right, from my patients, I hear this ton. And I wish there was a simple answer. Uh, you know, unfortunately, you can't rely only on symptoms because you can be contagious before they appear. And some people, guess what, can also remain contagious for weeks after symptoms are gone. However, I can share some general guidelines. Let's start with COVID-19, right? The peak contagious period is about 48 hours before symptoms appear and the first five days afterwards. However, we know that some folks can be asymptomatic and still spread the virus. How about influenza? Transmitting it before symptoms start is less common, but not impossible. The peak infectious period for this is three to four days after symptoms develop, but some adults remain contagious for up to five to seven days. And those with weakened immune systems, they could potentially spread the flu virus for much longer. How about RSV? It has a somewhat longer contagious phase lasting three to eight days after symptoms start. However, Infants and those, again, with weakened immune systems, they can spread RSV Glenda for up to four weeks after symptoms resolve. And last, but not least, the common cold. We've all had it. With more than 200 identified virus, the so infectious period depends on the specific virus in the person's health. Generally, though, peak contagious period for this is within three to five days after symptoms start. And once again, some folks may remain contagious after infection up to two weeks with a cold. So what should people do to prevent infecting people in their house or those around them? Yeah, you know, I know, I know what it's like. It's tough to dodge infections when you live in the same house. Yeah. If you're a parent with young children like myself, it can be more challenging as kids are pee-pee dishes. They tend to pick <laughs> up on average six viral infections a year. But here's the thing, right? If everyone in the household is generally healthy, Glenda, then you don't have to go to great lengths to isolate someone with cold-like symptoms. But if you have an elderly person in the house or someone with a serious medical condition, hey, then it's important to separate them from whoever is sick for at least a week after symptoms start. As for pre prevention, hand washing is super important or using at least hand sanitizer is key. Also stay current on vaccinations, including the updated COVID-19 vaccine. I got mine, Glenda, on Friday and I'm doing great. The okay. flu shot and the new RSV vaccine, and those are the RSV vaccine for those 60 and older. These vaccines reduce the risk of severe illness and lower your chances of getting infected. So if you follow some general guidelines, you should be okay. But, you know, I think that, again, do everything you can to prevent from getting them. All right. Thanks a lot, Doc. We hey, appreciate my pleasure. it. Of Good to see you. Same here. If you have a health question for the good doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at AskDrNandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. We'll get it right to him.